Greetings and welcome to another episode of Live from 505, a brief segment where you can come hear from students about tips for being successful both in and outside of the classroom. I'm your host, Miss Kayla, and joining with me, we have Sydney Reed. Hey, Sydney, how are you doing today? Hey, Miss Kayla, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Before we get started, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? All right, so hello everyone. Again, my name is Sydney Reed. I am currently a senior majoring in elementary education with a minor in psychology. I'm originally from Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, I am the vice president of the Multicultural Young Educators Network. I am a college education student ambassador, and I'm also an undergraduate research assistant with FACES in the Department of Psychology. My pronouns and she, her, hers, and yeah, that's me. So basically, Sydney does everything. Great. Thank you so much for having the time to fit us in today. So Sydney, you know, as your advisor for Mayan, we have our check-ins and talks. And today, I want you to share a little bit about your experience for some things that we've talked about with really investing in yourself and advocating for your needs. What has been your experience with that? I would say over the past four years of being in college, advocating for my needs is definitely something that I have struggled with. So just the stresses of schools, of having a job, um, of all these clubs and organizations, and then in the most recent times with the current pandemic, and also just anxiety about the future as a senior, it's just been a lot. And I really have worked, worked really hard to make sure that I'm putting myself first. And it's definitely something that I want to share with others. Absolutely. I think so often um, we can kind of forget that students are juggling a lot. And with faculty and staff, sometimes we have these needs for students or we have programs that we want you all to attend and be a part of. And we have assignments that are due, projects that are due. And we can often forget that you all um, do have specific needs that need to be met. Um, and balance. So it's really a really important topic to be discussing. And I'm really glad that you're highlighting your experience with that. Um, I want to kind of talk a bit about what your advice would be to students who are hoping to advocate for themselves and really invest in themselves more. So first, I would definitely say knowing your limits and your boundaries. And this is something that I really struggled with a lot. And of course, stunted my growth in advocating for myself. So just knowing when it's too much to take on, knowing when to drop a responsibility or a duty that you have, um, just making sure you know, okay, I'm not feeling right. It's just too much. Or mm -hmm. I just, I can't keep going on like this. So just knowing your limits and your needs is definitely the first step that I would say in advocating for yourself. Um, I would also say reaching out when you feel that way. So once you know what that feels like, reaching out, whether that's to professors or an advisor, family or friends, or even the counseling center at NC State, just making sure that you're reaching out and staying connected with others. And then lastly, I would say just investing in yourself. So that means emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, and even socially, just making sure that you're putting yourself first and that you're nourishing your body, mind, body, mind and soul to make sure you can keep pushing forward in this college career. Wow, Sid, those were three really great keys to being able to invest and advocate for yourself. You have to know what you need for one. So doing those that needs assessment of what do I even need to be successful is going to be really important and probably the first step as you do the three things that you have listed. Love knowing your limits. Sometimes we love to say yes to everything and we cannot say yes to everything. Um, and I, I was sharing with another group of students that when you say no to others, that's a yes to yourself. And it's a yes to your well-being, a yes to your the balance and harmony that you're trying to achieve in your life. It's a yes for you. So we have to put ourselves first. Um, and I think that's really, really important. I also love your point of connecting with folks, right? Like you no, we can't read your minds. And so right. being able to speak up for yourself, connect with people and share 
what it is that you need to be successful, I'm sure the folks around you would be more than happy to accommodate those requirements and needs that they have if they care about you. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you so much for those great words of wisdom. I truly agree with everything that you stated. So this brings us to a close. Thank you so much, Sid, for joining me today from live from 505. And until next time, we are signing off.